Turon Crossing Reserve Campground. We're eight k's from Hill End, 59 from Bathurst. In case you're wondering. G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks Touring Australia. We have another spotlight on campgrounds. As you just saw, we're at the Turon Crossing Reserve. Now, I just come down a big mountain, so I'm actually happy to stop before I do any river crossings, give the brakes time to cool down. Now, I'll give you a look at it and tell you about it as we go. So, that there, where the sign was, was at the amenities block. So, it's a drop toilet, as you'd sort of expect. So, this area has been flattened out nicely for camping. What I can't believe is this, again. I'm not gonna go on about it too much, but I am gonna go on about it. Really guys, you brought that in. Take it out. Obviously it didn't burn. Anyway rent over so there's that spot and this is basically just a big flat area so obviously fires are allowed when there's no fire bands on when there's fire bands on obviously don't do that so we have all this up here available with a little shelter as well with some tables on it but also I work it here to get down there it might be a longer drive I'm not sure but uh, you can get down the bottom here and camp in here so We'll go for a walk. So this is just all open, good for solar. It, uh, it's very really open and in the sun. I'll try and find the other way in. I'm guessing you go further down this main road and it'll get you down there. So we'll go for a look. Because after all, that's what we're here for. So there's definitely more camping down in there. So, yeah, it looks like you just go down to Rady for the, so uh, we'll do that. So it's the same sign at this end. So I literally just stopped near the drop toilets, but if you go past that, coming down towards the, the crossing. There's another turn off just here to the left. And that'll take you into the rest of it. So this would be the nicer shady part, little puddle there. But nice and shady. Wheel tracks, campsites. So, this is all pretty well ungoverned from what you can see. No bollards and things down here. But, choose your own adventure. So, there's your campsite there. I'm not gonna invade, but you can see there's nice room and shade to camp in that area. A couple of campers there enjoying their time, so I won't bother them, I'll keep walking. 
So we're much closer to the river down in this bit than where I'm parked. So I'll just walk out of this bloody sun. It's Jesus hot in the sun, guys. It's about 31 today. Uh, it's nice in the shade. So obviously following the wheel tracks down, you can get your cars in and out. This is all rough river gravel. So it's a little bit uneven. There's a nice campsite here. How good would this one be, this view? Over the river, fire pit. There's no one through there where a guy's camped with his roof topper, so I won't go walk in there, but you get the gist of it. I couldn't stop, always messing around. So just find a way to level yourself out, you'll be fine. So then we just walk along the rocks here some more. These are wheel tracks. That's all drivable. And uh, you get into here, which looks like we're close to the end of the logical camping. So there's a fair bit of room down here. But, uh, now what am I going to tell you? I'm going to tell you, when you're looking at me, I'm going to tell you that I'm not sure what it's like from the Bathurst end, but from the hill end end, it says very clearly on the sign at the top of the mountain, no trailers. So, yeah, go figure. Anyway. This is relatively short because there's not a lot I can tell you other than no trailers and what the campground's about. So, with that said, the recommendations, sorry guys, I might flick your background again. Let you see where we're going. So recommendation is very simply, don't bring trailers. Now, obviously, people are not worried about that. But given the condition of the track to come down here, the difficulty of it, as in it's narrow and passing is a problem, uh, I'd suggest you don't. That's just what I would suggest. Now, I'm walking back along some more wheel tracks, but there's no camping here that I can see. So I think you'd want to be a bit keen. But the reason I'm walking this way is it's bringing me back up to where I walked in. And yes, because I'm unfit, I'm puffing. So, sorry about that. But what I might do, rather than make you listen to me puff, so I'll get back up here and get in that undercover picnic table area and wrap it up. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, I'm undercover. So I'm a little bit dark, I'm sorry. But like I said, it's bloody hot out in the sun. So that is the Turon Crossing Campground, it's probably Turon River Crossing Campground anyway. You've seen the name of it, apologies. Uh, well, not a bad little camp, especially if you get down near, near the river and you don't need the solar. So that'd be nice. Recommendations, like I said, to four wheel drive only. Even though I did see an X trail up here. So, go figure. No trailers, even though I've seen two camper trailers down, down here now. So, because it says no trailers, don't bring them. No trailers, no caravans, no camper trailers, no motor homes, realistically. Four wheel drive only. And um, 
that's about it. So nice little spot. A little bit more interesting because it's a bit harder to get to. Anyway, rabbiting on. So I won't do that any longer. So I'll bid you farewell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, put a like on it. it really helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell. That'll let you know when a new video comes out. Oh, going the wrong way on the gimbal, sorry. To the old hands, thanks as always for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my clips. If you'd like to support the channel, perhaps go to the website, get a little bit of merch. T-shirts coming later in the year. Uh, or you can join via YouTube memberships and the join button down below. The perks you get is early access to the videos, but you don't have to do any of that, guys. Just put a like on it. I'm happy with that. And you'll still get your videos most Sundays unless something dramatically goes wrong and I don't get to post one up. So, sorry about that professional brow wiping. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Just get out there, enjoy the bush, come to places like this uh, and anywhere else that you might like. Just get out there, basically. Uh, thanks again. Be good to each other. So it's cheers from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks Touring Australia. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. All the best. It's the view from the undercover bit. Someone who'd never want to see